When we describe the viewport, we're talking about the visible area of the website at the current time. Viewport units are relative to the viewport. Now this makes them incredibly useful for sizing fonts relative to the size of the viewport, but we can also use them for certain layout tasks. And I'm going to show you a couple of those briefly here. We've got the VH unit. This makes it easy for us to make an element as tall as the viewport, because 100 VH units is the entire height of the viewport. So I've got an image here and I've got some content. Um, what I've done is I've, I've sized this, I've given the image a height of 400 pixels. Now I could adjust this, but obviously I don't know how tall the screen is of the user who's looking at this, so I just have to guess. But if I use the VH units, I can just say 100 VH, and now this content is below the fold. You can kind of see the VH unit in action if we just adjust that to 80 VH. Now it's about 80% of the viewport, and that will always be relative to the user's viewport. So it's a really useful unit for doing that sort of little task. We looked at VH units. We also have VW, and this is related to the width of the viewport. And as an example, we could use this unit for a very, very simple flexible grid. So if we set this column to float left and we say width 30 VW and then call 2 we could float right and give it a width of 60. So this gives you a very simple floated layout. It's not completely bulletproof, but it gives you an idea of how these units work. We'll have a look at these further in the course.